When you think of passenger rail in northern rural Canada, you probably think of Via Rail operating Bud RDCs on the Sudbury to White River Line, or perhaps Via Rail's service to Churchill, Manitoba, on the Hudson Bay. But there was another service that operated in these harsh conditions that used a piece of equipment that you wouldn't expect. The Ontario Northland Railway is a freight and passenger railroad that is owned by the Government of Ontario, with its main line running from North Bay to Moosonee on the shores of the James Bay, operating 675 miles of track. The railroad started construction of this line in 1902, providing both passenger and freight services to Ontario's north. The railroad was a government corporation from the very beginning. As the years progressed, the railroad continued to modernize and operate its freight and passenger services, keeping up with the times and eventually switching from steam to diesel power. In 1976, the railroad was planning to operate a train called the Northlander from Toronto, all the way to the end of their main line in Moosonee. This route had previously been operated by the railroad. This was more of a change in service than a new train. For the first year of operation on the Northlander, the railroad used their standard fleet of locomotives and coaches, but then the railroad stumbled upon some equipment that it had the chance to purchase, and it came from an interesting place. The Trans-Europe Express, or TEE, was an international first-class network of services that operated in Europe. The system originally used diesel trains for operation, as while most lines were electrified within countries, they were all using different voltages and many border crossing sections were not electrified. The service commenced in 1957 and was a huge success. It was very popular with business travelers for who the services were designed for. But as locomotives that were capable of operating on multiple different voltages on one trip were introduced and border crossings were electrified, the diesel train sets were phased out. One train in operation was known as the SBB-CFF Dash FFS RAM TEE1, and also known as the NSDE4, which was operated by both the Dutch and Swiss railways on the Trans Europe Express. The power cars were constructed by Workspore, and the coaches were constructed by SIG. The trains had a top speed of 87 miles per hour, with four train sets being produced, and were exclusively first class, like all TEE services. But as electric operation became the norm on the TEE, the train sets were phased out in 1974 and ultimately placed into storage, awaiting a buyer. In 1977, the Ontario Northern Railway was that buyer and purchased all four train sets that year, with them being shipped to Newfoundland, Canada, where they were modified with Canadian profile wheels and standard knuckle couplers on each end, and were then transported by rail to North Bay. With a new coat of paint, these trains entered service. The power cars, which were designed for use in Europe, did more or less fine during their first summer of operation. But in winter, however, the power cars were rather unreliable, as they were not built to handle the harsh Canadian winter. The maintenance crews were also unfamiliar with their European design, and they would have a lot of downtime. And thus, in 1979, the power cars were replaced with the railroad's own EMD locomotives. The passenger cars stayed in service, however the driving trailer was not used after this point, as it was not compatible with the EMD locomotives, and it was too lightweight to push snow off the rails during the winters. Being of no use to the railroad, the locomotives were scrapped in 1984, but the passenger cars would carry on in service until 1992, when they were withdrawn and a fleet of rebuilt commuter cars were introduced instead. The passenger cars set around and were eventually scrapped, except for one set, which was shipped back to the Netherlands for restoration in 1998. The Northlander passenger service would carry on in operation until 2012, when service was discontinued, though many hope it will one day return. The Trans-Europe Express equipment operating on a route in northern Canada is definitely an oddity, especially with the equipment being designed exclusively for first-class service. Those who rode the service during this time remember it fondly, but ultimately the trains were not designed for this service, and as they age, they were eventually withdrawn. Be sure to subscribe for more.